Hi everyone, we're the Redicop family. I'm Abby. I'm Baxter. I'm Harper. And I'm Derek. On My Heart recently has been the need and the desire to simplify my life. In this current season we find ourselves in, I've learned that my precious time with my family and my kids is something that I am so grateful for. We didn't leave the house for weeks. It got me thinking and realizing that there were things that I thought I needed and had to do and had to have, but what really is important? How can I simplify my life and not feel so busy and tired and overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I have or the need to attend to things? For me, it started with decluttering my house and minimizing, but it moved to something deeper. What are the things that consume me when I'm not in quarantine? Are there things I can say no to rather than feeling obligated to everything? Are there simple things that I can do to grow spiritually? How can I nurture my relationship with my kids and my husband and Jesus? My answer is yes, I can simplify my life and be okay. In fact, I can be great. This time has taught me what I'm grateful for, as well as who and what, and that my number one focus is Jesus and my relationship with him. He died on the cross for me. He loves me. Can't get any simpler than that. Yeah, and I think the main reason we want to simplify our lives is so that we can focus on things that are important. One verse that I heard taught on from Reverend Doug Jones several years ago, several years back, sorry, and has always stuck with me is from Timothy 4, 14 and 15. Here the Apostle Paul is writing to Timothy and he encourages him. He tells him to do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying on of hands by the eldership. Meditate on these things, give yourself entirely to them, that your progress may be evident to all. So even though there are a gifting imparted to Timothy, Paul is telling him that if he doesn't do anything with that gifting, nothing will become of him. Again, in Joshua 1.8, God tells Joshua that after Moses died, that he needs to read the book of the law, that it shall not depart from his mouth, but he should meditate in it day and night, that he may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. So as we're still in, these COVID, in this COVID period, and many things are still closed, I would encourage you to think about and focus on areas of your life where you want to start having more success, whether it's your job, your marriage, healing, or relationships. The Bible has a ton of things to say about these subjects. Find scriptures that will help you in these areas and focus on doing what the Word tells you to do. As we meditate on these things and give ourselves entirely to them, then our progress will be evident to all to see. So kids, we wanted to ask you guys, what are some things that are important to you? Jackson, do you want to tell us what are some things that are important to you? Um, giving kisses, uh, giving hugs. Kisses and hugs, yeah, that's important. What else? What else? Can you tell everybody what else is important to you? I think that's it. That's all? What about you, Harper? Um, my seesaw collection. And my mom and dad, my brother, and my friends, and, and my friends. And your friends, too, yeah. And that uh, um, I have a mom and dad that love me. And I have clothes. Clothes to wear, that's important. We just want to thank everybody for joining us. We love our church family. We love each and one of every one of you. And we just pray you all have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.